Spiders are one of my favorite invertebrate groups. The way they spin their beautiful and deadly webs never ceases to fascinate. Recently, I discovered a very interesting and very adaptable species hiding right under my nose. Welcome to Skidoo Island Wildlife. My name is Nicholas, and right now, I'm actually in my garage looking for a triangulate comb foot. This is a really cool species, and the best place to find one is gonna be right by my house. These spiders typically build their web near the ground between two flat surfaces, but in a space large enough to accommodate their web. So I got one right on my hand. This is a triangulate comb foot, a member of the false widow spider. So not a true widow, not, not in the, the, the Latrodectus genus, where she's spinning a lot of silk, but one of the false widows. So they look somewhat like the widows, you know, a very, very large abdomen, similar colors. There she goes, there she is. They also act quite a bit like them. Uh, they live mostly around human habitation. So you really won't find these out too much in the actual woods. You see them a lot in garages like this, attics, uh, sheds, anywhere where there's a lot of debris. Now they build a very interesting web so what they do is they build that stable platform and that'll catch any flying insects that come their way, but also they drop down little silk threads that connect to the ground. They make hundreds of these in their web. At the end of each one is a tiny droplet of super sticky glue. Any insect that's walking through that area is almost bound to bump into one, get stuck, and then the spider can come down and eat it. These spiders get their name, comb foot, because at the end of each leg is a comb of hairs, and they use these to throw silk from a distance at their prey. So this spider is caught an ant in its web, and an ant could bite the spider, it could sting the spider, but she can stay at a good distance and just keep flinging silk at it, tangling it up more and more, and then eventually move in, inject the venom with a killing bite, and then she's got dinner. The webs of these spiders are so strong and they're so skilled at tangling their prey in sticky silk that they can easily take down meals that are five to ten times bigger than they are. These aren't aggressive spiders as you can see, she's just crawling all over my hand, just doesn't want to bite me at all, and if she did for some reason bite me, her venom is not really dangerous at all to humans, they only use it to take down those insects that they're eating. Well, this little spider just proves that there are so many cool animals, even right by our homes. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time on Skidoo Island Wildlife.